In many cases, service object methods may require that parameters contain information passed in when methods are called. In the following example, we are going to use a currency web service that has a read method. This method does have four parameters defined that require specific information when the method is called with the purpose of converting one currency to another based on currency types, date, and money amount provided. K2 smart objects allow you to add smart object method parameters that can then be mapped to your service object's input parameters. Now, this is different than the input properties on the list method we set up in an earlier topic for the SQL-based customer smart object. Input properties in that configuration are optional for a consumer such as a smart form. Method parameters are required and values must be provided by the consumer of the smart object method. The smart object we create will have the ability to convert a currency that users select to a US dollar amount. I have already generated a service instance using the endpoints web service service type, pointing to a currency web service, as you can see here. Jumping over to K2 Designer, I have already selected the category for the smart object to live in and have the new smart object window ready to go. In the smart object general tab, let's provide a name. For example, I'll enter in currency exchange in this case. And I'll add a description for what this smart object will return. The category should already have a value and from the type section, we'll choose advanced smart object and then click create. Moving on from the service object explorer pane on the left, let's expand the currency web service. Notice that we can now see the available exchange rates service objects and for each of those, their available methods. In this lesson, we are going to use the read method from the historical conversion object. Let's drag the read method from the historical conversion object over to the methods tab of the currency exchange properties and methods pane. The method details name is going to default to the read method from the object that we just dragged over. And then the type will be set to read, which is the default setting for this object method. For this lesson, let's change the name of the smart object method to convert FX to make it a bit more descriptive. Upon review of the web service requirements, we do know this service objects method has four parameters that we need to populate with input data when the smart object method is called. The parameters are named date, from amount, from currency code, and to currency code. On the bottom of the add method details dialog pane in the section named configure service object method parameters, we will create smart object parameters to match the parameters of the service object method. To do this, we can click add to launch the add parameters dialog window. Then we can start by making this the from currency code parameter with the type of text and then click OK. Let's also add another parameter called amount and we can set this to decimal. Then finally, our third parameter that we need is going to be called date with the type of date time. These will be the input parameters for this method and we'll actually get to the parameter called to currency code in just a moment. With the smart object parameters created, we have basically told K2 these are mandatory input parameters for this method. The next step is to bind them to the underlying service objects input properties. To recap, again, this web services method contains input parameters to perform the conversion calculation. The method receives these input parameters and will return a result accordingly. These method parameters were discovered back as part of the service instance when it was generated. To map parameters we just created, I'll select the date input property, click assign, and from the map to drop down, let's select the option called smart object method parameter. And from the parameter drop down, I can select the date option. I'll repeat these steps for the from amount parameter by selecting amount from the parameter drop down control. Then do the same for the from currency code parameter. Now, for the to currency code property, we can click assign. This time, though, we'll select specific value from the map to control since we want to only convert to the US currency. 
In the specific value field, we can enter in USD for the exchange descriptor and click OK. Keep in mind though, with the specific value option being available, this is kind of a hard coding situation as an input parameter. So in some cases, you may want to handle a parameter like this in different ways. These bound smart object method parameters will provide the necessary input values required to allow the currency conversion to work, which will in turn return a value to the return property currently called decimal. We need to create a smart object property for this service objects return property now. So we can select decimal, click assign, then the create button to create a new property called USD amount. Now with all the input and return service object properties mapped accordingly, we can close this out. This smart object now contains a method that will convert a currency amount to the US dollar equivalent based on the date, currency type, and amount. From here, I'll click Finish to save and essentially deploy this advanced smart object to the K2 environment for use in forms and workflows.